Hello, my name is Gail Risbridger and I'm a senior professor at Monash University where I lead a team of dedicated researchers who work very closely with doctors like Mark Frydenberg. I'm Mark Frydenberg, I'm a professor of urology and a prostate cancer surgeon. Uh, 20 years ago, uh, Gail Risbridger and I uh, first formed a team where as a surgeon and scientist we work together to try and get the best possible research for the best possible outcomes for our patients. I'm Dr. Luc Furek and I'm a research fellow working here at Monash University in the research group of Professor Gail Risbridger. Prostate cancer, when it's initially diagnosed, often uh, is at a stage where we have a multiple type of therapies that can be used, uh, radiation, small molecules, inhibitors, but often the disease will progress to a stage that we call castration-resistant prostate cancer, which is deadly. And uh, the project that I'm working on that is supported by PCFA, we're trying to validate new molecules, new inhibitors that can actually kill cell at this stage. I'm Dr. I'm Dr. Renee Taylor and I work at Monash University. We take um, prostate cancer tissues from patients, we bring them into the laboratory and we try and identify which are the parts of that cancer that are important in terms of finding a new cure. That means that patients are going to have options presented to them at the time of treatment that are relevant for their particular cancer and it's important because not all men have the same cancer and so we're trying to really help the doctors decide which are the patients that need aggressive therapy um, and which are the ones that can have a slow growing tumour that we don't need to worry about so much. Uh, my name's Dr Mitchell Lawrence and I'm a postdoctoral fellow in the Risbridger lab at Monash University. My research is focused on the tumour and the way that it interacts with the cells around it and that communication makes the tumour worse. And we're hoping that if we can work out the signals that are communicated between those cells, we can block them and slow the growth of prostate cancer. So the support from PCFA has enabled me to follow this important area of research that will eventually lead to uh, new therapies for prostate cancer. My name's Dr Melissa Papagiris. My job involves collecting patient tissue from patients who are having a radical prostatectomy procedure. My patients really enjoy the sense of giving back to the research community because what they're going through is something that um, they never want to see another person have to go through, especially most of them have sons uh, and they don't want their sons to have to go through what they're going through. So they really hope that by enabling our research and by providing us with the tissue specimens that they can uh, it means that in 10 years time that their sons won't be faced with the same problems that they are today. My name is Dr Stuart Ellum and I'm a senior research fellow in Gail Risbridge's lab here at Monash University. My research looks at the role of oestrogens in the prostate. Um, we know that androgens are very important but what's often not appreciated is that oestrogens also play a very significant role in the prostate and in prostate disease. Ideally we want to be able to develop new targeted therapeutics and either promote the beneficial effects of oestrogen or on the other hand um, inhibit the adverse effects. Thanks to the support of Gail Risbridger who's been a long-term mentor of mine as well as the support of the Prostate Cancer Foundation of Australia we've been able to make some significant inroads into oestrogen biology and hopefully this is ultimately going to lead to better outcomes for men with prostate cancer. And I would really like to thank PCFA for giving money and support to young investigators so that they can pursue their research career and eventually bring new cure to prostate cancer. <laughs>